What's up guys, Houndish here, and today Zoe returns to Destiny 2 for the weekend of the 26th of January. I nearly said December right there because I just can't get into 2024 apparently, but as we can see is here on Nessa Sim Watcher's grave, so in his uh, normal tree spot, pretty easy to find and we'll see what he's got for us this week. So, for the exotic stuff, we've got Fighting Lion, certainly a fun weapon if you've never picked it up, and then Foe Tracer for Hunters this week with a total stat roll of 65, mainly with uh, recovery and strength there. We've also got Severance Enclosure for Titans, total of 63, leaning towards resilience and strength. And then the Lunar Faction Boots, a uh, total of 64, mainly with resilience and discipline. So, nothing necessarily mind-blowing, but give us your thoughts below. For the legendary stuff though, for the weapons, we've got True Prophecy with Field Prep and Timed Payload. Also the Death Adder, uh, which has got Feeding Frenzy and Rangefinder, might be alright. And then the Spare Rations uh, with Offhand Strike Focused Fury. The Judgment of Kelgrath with Genesis and Close to Melee. And then we've got the Ikelos Sniper, which has got Moving Target and Box Breathing. As well as the Shattered Cypher Machine Gun, which is Field Prep and Surrounded. Then the Canis Major Grenade Launcher, which has got Killing Wind and Kill Clip. So give us your thoughts on the legendary stuff. Uh, nothing necessarily too crazy, but maybe some useful ones to pick up. And then we've got the Dead Orbit armor uh, from back in the day available this week. So if you are looking to add some old faction gear uh, to your collections, it may be worth visiting uh, uh, this week on Nessus. Then for the Hawkmoon, for the main trait, we've got Hip Fire Grip this week. I wonder if they'll ever make Hawkmoon a craftable weapon like they did with Dead Man's Tail. Be interesting to see. But there we go, guys. That is Zer uh, inside of Destiny 2. In D1, if you are collecting, he's got the Bad Juju, as well as a Legacy Leg Engram, Lucky Raspberry, the Glass House, and the Ramp. So you can always hunt him down if you need anything in D1. But otherwise, guys, that does it for Zer uh, this weekend. So as always, I hope the video has been useful. And if it has, a rating below very much helps us out on the channel. Also, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. But otherwise, whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.